Now, in the most recent meeting of the two, North Korea and Cuba vowed to build on their decades old bilateral relationship. But is it a realistic pledge given the recent renewal of relations between Cuba and the United States? Our Connie Kim reports that remains an open question. North Korea and Cuba have vowed to strengthen their bilateral ties. The North's official Korean Central News Agency reported Tuesday that Choi Dong Hae, the vice chairman of the ruling party Central Committee, met with new Cuban leader Raul Castro on Saturday to deliver a message from Kim Jong Un, offering his condolences for Fidel Castro's death. To that, Castro reportedly said that Cuba and North Korea should build on the relationship that was built by North Korean founder Kim Il Sung and Fidel Castro, and they should fight against imperialism together. On the same day, the senior North Korean leader also met with the leaders of several Latin American countries, including Venezuela and Bolivia. North Korea and Cuba's assured hostility toward the United States and the similarities in their authoritarian power structures have made it possible for the two to maintain close diplomatic ties since 1960. Reflecting their cozy relations, North Korea instituted a three-day period of mourning last week for Fidel Castro, who was seen as a comrade in arms against a common enemy of the United States. Kim Jong-un also reportedly visited the Cuban embassy in the north to pay his respects. The question is, will the close relationship between North Korea and Cuba continue? While some North Korea experts in Seoul say Pyongyang's actions signal that it's trying to move away from international isolation, there is also speculation Fidel Castro's death could signal the end of North Korea-Cuba relations if the incoming U.S. administration honors a 2014 agreement between the U.S. and Cuba normalizing diplomatic ties. Connie Kim, Arirang News.